Hello guys, welcome back, PK here. So in this video, we're gonna this interesting viewer suggested in tech world, so stay tuned. Okay, here's the question. The question is evaluate this integral from zero to infinity, one over x to the power of four plus one dx. We'll be working on this using factorization first and arc tangent at the end. So let's work on this. And calling this x as say one over now k. Then your dx, is now then negative one over k squared and dk. So let's rewrite this integral using this substitution, right? Then integral of zero to infinity one over x to the power of four plus one dx. This integral is now then the same as integral, make sure it should be from infinity to zero. Then we have negative one over k squared. And okay, then that over one, over k to the power of 4 plus 1, and we have now dk. So if you rewrite this, then it has to be also from 0 to infinity again. That of now k squared over k to the power of 4 plus 1, and then dk. And since k is just like a dummy variable, then we can always switch back to the x. We can represent how this integral we're looking for. This has to be the average of the sum of this integral with that integral after we substitute this k back into the x's, right? So we can use this trick. So integral from 0 to infinity of 1 over uh, x to the power of 4 plus 1 dx that we're looking for. This has to be the average of the sum. So 1 over 2 times bracket of this integral from 0 to infinity, 1 over x to the power of 4 plus 1 dx. The sum of this integral and that integral after we switch k back into the x's. So plus integral of 0 to infinity, and then k back into the x. So x is squared over x to the power of 4 plus 1 and dx. Okay, so that is why this right to side looks like 1 over 2 times integral from 0 to infinity. And then x squared plus 1 over x to the power of 4 plus 1 and dx. Okay, then let's work on this integral. And let's divide both the numerator and denominator by x squared. So if you go ahead and do this, then we should have 1 over 2 times integral from 0 to infinity. And dividing all of your terms by x squared, then we should have numerator is now x squared plus 1 over x squared. And the denominator has to be x to the power of 4 plus 1 over x squared, and then we have dx. Okay, so let's work this out. It is going to be then the same as 1 over 2 times integral from 0 to infinity. And we have 1 plus 1 over x now squared. That over x now squared plus 1 over x squared. And then we have dx. Okay, then if you rewrite this, it has to be the same as then 1 over 2 times integral from 0 to infinity of now 1 plus 1 over x squared still on your numerator. But then again, we can represent this denominator, x squared plus 1 over x squared, as x minus 1 over x squared plus 2. Then we have dx. And then we can make another substitution. Let's say m as this x minus 1 over x inside of that parenthesis. Then we can say your dm. dm has to be the same as parenthesis 1 plus 1 over x squared. And then we have dx. We're doing this because I want to use arc tangent at the end, right? Then let's rewrite this integral using this substitution. So your integral is now 1 over 2 times integral. Make sure it is from negative infinity to infinity. And that of 1 plus 1 over x squared. That over m squared plus 2. And we have dm over 1 plus 1 over x squared. Okay, so we can cancel this 1 plus 1 over x squared out completely. So that we have 1 over 2 times integral from negative infinity to infinity of 1 over m squared plus 2 dm. But making sure your integral is an even function. 
So that is why we can say integral from negative infinity to infinity of 1 over m squared plus 2 dm, so an even function. So this is the same as now that the 2 times integral from 0 to infinity of 1 over m squared plus 2 and dm. So that's why this 1 over 2 is canceled out with this 2. So you're really working on this integral from 0 to infinity of only 1 over m squared plus 2 and dm. Since I want to use arc tangent, so we can rewrite this as now pulling 1 over 2 out times integral from 0 to infinity of 1 over. Your denominator, I'll be rewriting this as now m over square root of 2 square. Course plus 1. And then we have dm. Okay, so using our tangent, this is the same as square root of 2 over 2 times our tangent of now m over square root of 2. Okay, then that is from 0 to infinity. So making a calculation for this, it is now the same as square root of now 2 over 2. Parenthesis, pi over 2 minus now 0. So that's why the answer for this question is now square root of the 2 times pi now over 4. This is the answer for the question. Okay, so pretty interesting integral, so I'll be back with more videos, more questions like this sometime soon.